Lowell is one of my most brilliant co-hosts, and it's a good juxtaposition of Lowell's comments about the Kurds and about Israel and about the Middle East and Turkey compared to the comments by uh, Josh Bernstein. Now, Josh uh, just sent me an email this morning and said he's never in eight years dropped a call uh, because he was interviewed and disagreed with the co-host and just dropped a call and said, I'm not talking. Now, guess what? This is a message to all you people out there, including all my co-hosts. If I disagree with you, I'm going to opine. Now, 99% of the time, I agree with a lot of stuff that a lot of my co-hosts said, maybe 95%, maybe not 99, 95. But if I have some additional information to add, or a completely different opinion about things, you're going to hear it. And if you don't like that, by the way, co-hosts, you're finished. So I think we're pretty well done with Josh and Lindsay comes back and says, yes, Dr. Deagle, you can opine. Because he wanted to abandon not only the Kurds, but Syria, and thinks it won't impact Israel or Middle East war, or guarantee a thermonuclear war in the Middle East. Let me tell you, Donald Trump is a moron. Josh Bernstein on this issue is an idiot thinking our only ally in the Middle East is Israel. If we don't turn Syria away from Russia and Iran and Hezbollah, not only are we screwed, but Israel is, and they're going to drag us into a thermonuclear war. So I want people to understand that right from the beginning before we get into your letter, because I don't think people understand this. I know I got Syrian relatives and blood. My ancestors, the Vashas, 150 years ago, ran the largest caravan between Damascus, Syria, and China. Traveled, my great-great-grandmother walked all the way to China twice a year. That's how tough these people are, all the way to China. I'm a tough SOB. Let me tell you, I'm sick of people that think they understand the Middle East and they don't live there, don't have relatives. I don't understand how people don't realize that the Jews and the Christians sit at the table with Bashar al-Assad, who's an eye doctor with a British wife and is a decent man, and never gas any of his people and just want his nation not to be taken over by PNAC. I can't believe, including the stupid act uh, over a year ago of Donald Trump sending missiles to empty buildings uh, in Israel because of the chemical weapons being used. Trump, get a message. We've been trying for many, now for two years, and we got a letter recently on September 12th that looked like an echo from one year and a half ago. You're not listening, buddy. You're going to listen either now or at the judgment seat, knucklehead. I don't care if you're POTUS. When you're standing before the Most High God and God fingers over and say, get over here, Deagle. Did you tell us on air to millions of audience over a period of decades of what's coming? Did you say that you had prophetic experts on there saying they're going to see Damascus burn? Do you think it's not going to hit when it's only 10 miles from the northeast border of Israel to Damascus? You can walk the, the uh, road to Emmaus of Paul. Remember he walked that road? If you think letting the the, the, the Kurds who are trying to defend themselves against these maniac uh, Turks uh, and then be slaughtered, you think it's not going to have consequences and you'll still have Syria in the, in the arms of Russia and Iran? This is dangerous stuff. Trump has basically ticked off a lot of people, even the Democrats and Republicans, that to be honest with you, they might even switch a number of votes in the House to actually start impeachment over this. That's what I'm really concerned. I don't care about your smart economy, buddy. You're going to trigger off a thermonuclear war if you don't smarten up. And you don't think this is going to trigger it off? You're an idiot. Oh, we only moved 28 soldiers. You should have moved thousands in there. You should be bombing the hell out of Turkey. You should be decapitating the regime. You should kick them out of NATO. This guy Erdogan is the most... I've had contacts with intel agencies. He's the most dangerous guy in the Middle East. It's not even the mullahs of Iran that are dangerous. It's this guy freaking Erdogan. He is a dangerous son of a bitch. So I want to hear your comments uh, now. Uh, but, you know, if you think, if, if Josh doesn't let me opine when he makes a comment that I totally disagree with, he's never getting back on this show. Because I want people to understand, Dr. Deagle is not a, a guy that just brings people on like Coast to Coast Radio and they bring on, you know, George Norrie, idiot Norrie. Oh, say whatever you want to say. No, you say something that I think is wrong or off base, whether it's medical or geopolitical or spiritual, it's like throwing raw meat to a Rottweiler. I'm going to grab that meat, and I'm going to shake it. I'm going to find out what the truth is, and I'm going to dig deep because I'm a decent person, and I am fearless. I want people to know that I care about America, and I care about the Middle East, and if we want to care about Israel, our ally, which we, by the way, should die of this treaty that Trump talked about, we better dissect Syria away from the freaking Russians 
and the Iranians over oh, going to have a thermonuclear war, and Damascus will burn with nuclear fire. It says, and hoot owls and wild animals lived there because the longest continuous lived city on earth is dead. My relatives in Syria will die because of stupid moves by Donald J. Trump. And of course, his son in law is a wizard, worships Rabbi Schneerson. Modern Judaism, Rabbi worships the Sephiot Zyra in the Talmud of Babylon. You don't believe it? I'm going to do some private videos. I have a private video channel. I'm going to put up the Sephiot Zyra and other things. And if you think, well, I'm a really good Jew, look, there's lots of good Jews. I love people that are Jewish, they're the people of the book. But they don't read the Sephiot Zyra or the Talmud of Babylon. They don't understand. If you go to a, a special yeshiva school in New York, you learn to be a wizard. People don't get know this, do they, uh, Lowell? They just are living in a dream world, even if they're going regularly to synagogue. They say, well, I just go to synagogue. Yeah, you don't go deep, do you? Dr. Deagle goes deep. I've ministered to Rabbi uh, to, to, uh, Bill Schnablin, who at the time was not only Jewish, he went to the Catholic Church to be able to do transubstantiation. He was a 90th degree Mason, and I know more than him. Okay? You're not going to meet anybody like me on the earth. You're not. And if you think I'm going to be silent when somebody says something dangerous like what Trump is doing and what, you know, I can see, uh, our, you know, Josh Bernstein upset with, you know, at last week of abandoning the Kurds. Now he's kind of saying, you know, hey, uh, you know, our only ally is Israel. No, if we don't dissect Syria away, it's going to put Israel in fantastic damage. And they will use the Samson option. I have contacts in Israel. I have their satellite photos, their imaging stuff. I all know everything. Israel will nuke the crap out of every Islamic city and town within 10,000 miles if they get there, including Russia and China, by the way. If these countries think they're going to survive attacking Israel and get away with it, God help them. And America will be hauled into a nuclear war, and most Americans will die in a thermonuclear flash in the first day. Boom! Russia. Weapons in our back door. Punta Huerta and, and uh, La Archila Island. If you think I'm making this up, I got the satellite photos after I prayed last January when I was giving it to Jeff Rance. He said, that's Pulitzer Prize money. Nobody's approaching Deagle for a Pulitzer Prize. The, I'm sure there's intel agencies that know that Deagle is doing this. I get interference all the time from NSA on my phone lines, my radio show. Guess what? I'm not going to be friggin' silent. I get intel agents that listen to my show and they contact me afterward saying, go Deagle, go. So I want you to make some comments, Lowell, because I'm really pissed at Josh thinking he's going to shut up Deagle. I do not have a shut up gene, do I? Why, I didn't realize that Josh was on your show. I've known him when he was hosting his own show. Yeah, he was hosting his show, but it, Josh is an attitude of some people. See, you're a brilliant guy and you'll let me dialogue and opine. But okay, I respect well, your yeah, intellect because. Thoughts. I, I don't have the knowledge and background that you do, of course. Uh, Almost nobody I does, to, and God's put me through living hell to know it. I mean, I, I worked I, at a bookshop secret. I want people to appreciate, though, the importance of some of the things you were saying. For example, if you were to go up on the hills by Hebrew University in Jerusalem, right, uh, you would be able to see the sky glow of Amman, Jordan, at night. Right. I mean, it's that close. Oh, they're, they're, they're kissing cousins. In fact, if you have a nuclear war in, in Syria... That radiation is going to kill most of the people in the villages and towns oh, in sure. Israel. And, and, and the king of Jordan, like his king father before him, was educated at Sandhurst, the British Military right. Academy. Right. He was a, actually a ra he was a, a tank commander in the British Army and a brilliant guy. And he actually, his company and the people in Jordan controlled the Waft, which controls the Temple Mount. The Temple Mount is not controlled by Israel. It's now, the I have Waft a simple question for Josh. And, and that is, or for anyone else who wants to think about this, if I ask you the question, do you like Americans? Yeah. You would be stopped. Are you talking about the Americans who were debating last night among uh, one another, the Democratic presidential candidates who all favor socialism or Marxism? Or are you talking about some different Americans, like the salt of the earth, heartland of America, people who cling to their Bible and guns? Uh, those are very different people to choose from. Now, when you say the Kurds, there is no such thing as the Kurds. There are a right. whole lot of factions. Right, right. There's the one faction that's actually they've, terror. They've been, There's one faction that's terrorist. They've had no right. land for more than 100 years, if, if they had it then. 
we're talking about a specific fraction of the Kurds known as the Kurdish Kurdistan Workers Party or PKK. Right. These people right. are Marxists. Right. Do Americans understand that? Or as Donald Trump said just um, just Wednesday, uh, these people are not sweethearts. They've been yeah, carrying you know, out the, terrorism against a NATO ally of ours, Turkey, uh, for decades and decades, even before Erdogan uh, came well, to power. You, you know, the, the reason why they carry out terrorism, and I'll fill this in, although they're Marxists, and the, the, see, after World War One, this continues after World War One, the Turks slaughtered well over a million of the people in eastern Turkey, they're basically the majority, vast majority are Kurds. So two thirds of the actual air land well, they mass. They also slaughtered a million Jews. Right. They also slaughtered a lot of the people. What is it, that uh, area north of uh, 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 what's it called? The uh, another area north there where, where the Turks Armenia. were involved with killing the what? Armenia. The Armenians. Yeah, they killed a million Armenians as well. Plus. Now, people understand, if you actually carved off a territory that would be Kurdistan, it would be probably the biggest country in the Middle East. It would include two-thirds yeah, of then, Turkey. And then came briefly Ataturk, who lived for right. a few decades. Ataturk, who was utterly modern. Women had the right to vote in Turkey before they did in Great Britain. Right. Uh, under Ataturk, they adopted a Western alphabet. They oriented themselves toward Europe and the West. Right. Uh, they were a very different culture. And then Erdogan, who is basically a religious fanatic and an egomaniac. Uh, well, he is probably succeeded. the most dangerous egomaniac Turkey's ever had. I mean, you can and, go and back to the, the way, Ottoman Empire. And by the way, as people forget, I think we may have mentioned this on your show, when they had that coup, so-called, against him that failed, Erdogan sent Turkish forces into Incirlik Air Force Base, the U.S. Air Force Base there, uh, and temporarily, in effect, took control of more than 60 American nuclear weapons. Well, it was on, it was on two days ago on Drudge. Oh, well, I, I wrote about this, what, years ago. Yeah, but they did it again. They did it again. And the thing is, do you know what Turkey's asking now? And I got a supernatural confirmation of this. Turkey, one of the conditions they want for us not to kind of interfere with Turkey, they want nukes. They want their own nukes with their own passcode so they can actually have nuclear power. Holy well, Christ. Then, they, then they should have accepted an anti-aircraft missile system from Russia. Why did we I allow mean, they, that? Why were they not immediately knocked out of NATO? Why they should have is been. that allowed? They should have been. That, that's my point. But the, the fact is, if we're talking about the Iraqi uh, Kurds, they are right. much more westernized. They are much more oriented to the United States. They're much right. better fighters, by the way. Right. They are able to protect themselves. Right, uh, and I proposed back in the in the days of Saddam Hussein and company that when we took over, in effect, Iraq, we should have partitioned it and given Turkey its own little country. In fact, it we could be, also it be a little country. I proposed, that, my, I proposed we give the Palestinians their own country carved out of Iraq too, on the condition that they would waive any claim in perpetuity to Israel. Right, but and you only, know what? If, if you actually only if the, the Palestinians unanimously did that, would they get their own country in Iraq that actually had oil, as opposed to what they would get in Israel? Right, but you know the thing is that northern area of Syria has lots of oil too, which is why the Turks want that because they don't have any oil. So that's the zone they want. That they say is just for a buffer zone. No, it's not. It's an oil zone. The other thing people should understand is Medo Persia, which is the regional empire. The Kurds are Medians. They're the people that sent the gifts to Jesus at his birth. They're not Arabs. People don't know this, do they? No, they don't. There are a lot of people there who are not Arab. Right. People don't get that. They don't. Do you have difficulty taking supplements? Are you searching for a high-quality, complete nutritional drink that your whole family will love? Nutramedical's Life Support has arrived. All of your daily nutritional requirements in one quick, delicious drink. Dr. Bill Deagle's Life Support is a proprietary blend of vegan protein, activated vitamins, essential minerals, amino acids, probiotics, green tea, digestive enzymes, anti-inflammatories, cancer prevention, detoxification, and much more. Your body will high-five you for this one. Life Support is the best complete nutritious 
largest meal replacement on the market. Whether you are an elite athlete, have post-operative challenges, chronic illness, elderly, or a family that just wants a quick, delicious drink, try Dr. Bill Deagle's Life Support for optimized nutrition in one great-tasting smoothie. Just add cold water, almond milk, fruit, or anything else you like. Nutramedical's Life Support. Try our great-tasting chocolate or vanilla today. Call 888-212-8871 or visit us online at Nutramedical.com. Nutramedical.com for the whole family. Red Deer Velvet DR is an amazing new product with a patent to preserve 300 biomolecules and six hormones, same as fetal life, where you don't age at all. The state of fetal life allows the 300 biomolecules and six hormones produced by the placenta to be supportive of the re uh, generation of tissues and organs with maximum apoptosis uh, changing the tissue and organ structure of a fetus. That's why if fetal surgery is performed, there is no scar. Taking uh, two to three capsules twice a day with oncomycin, myco-D2, uh, provides an amazing support for regeneration of any tissue and organ in the body and even advanced stem cell therapy support treatment. Do uh, get Nutramedical's Red Deer Velvet DR from Dr. Bill Deagle at Nutramedical.com, N-U-T-R-I-Medical.com, 888-212-8871. Stay well and stay young with Nutramedical. Lumen Photon Therapy, infrared light, far and near infrared, is extremely important for pain control, simulation of nitric oxide, improved perfusion, and stem cell activation and reduction of cytokines. Dr. Bill uses it for pain control, for regeneration techniques, for organ regeneration, and for stimulation of your stem cell activity. Uh, this amazing uh, lumen photon therapy this year will probably have an additional device with frequency therapy during the on phase of the lights. To obtain a lumen photon machine, contact Dr. Bill at Nutramedical.com, 888-212-8871. He'll prescribe it with you, providing nutraceuticals to help with your regeneration, healing, and pain control. Nothing like the lumen photon therapy for uh, easy therapy for your eyes, your pain, your joints, regeneration of organs, detoxification of the body. Get a lumen photon machine from Dr. Bill Deagle, Nutramedical.com, 888-212-8871. Stay well with Nutramedical. The Sonic Life Machine is one of the most amazing therapies that Dr. Bill provides. It is the best sine wave exercise machine on the planet, doing whole body vibration, opening up the muscle to reduce insulin resistance, improve perfusion, release stem cell therapies throughout the body, and epigenetically stimulate the body to release DNA activated. Uh, the epigenetic therapy with the uh, sine wave curve of frequencies given for atomic resonance by Linus Pauling for minerals and amino acids stimulates the production of messenger RNA to correct structural protein enzyme deficiency for almost every illness. There's nothing like the sine wave therapy for improving body healing for exercise, but also the epigenetic treatments Dr. Bell can provide can help neutralize frequencies for disease states and illness. Get a Sonic Life machine through Dr. Bill Deagle at Nutramedical.com. Contact us at Nutramedical.com, 888-212-8871, or go to the website Nutramedical and give us a contact. Dr. Bill is available to help you get well with Nutramedical. Need a powerful ally to fight daily bugs and serious pathogens? Allison Med is the powerful universal pathogen killer's latest advance of German-sourced Allison, enzymatically stabilized to clear the body of bacteria, fungi, mycobacteria, and parasites. It penetrates body biofilms and is non-toxic to tissues. Pathogen resistance cannot develop for long-term body-optimized wellness. Clear stealth pathogens that promote autoimmune disease, cancer, and vascular inflammation and plaque and promote healing of tissues. Now pathogen-free. With 200 milligrams more power than prior Alamed, you can't get a more powerful ally to fight daily bugs and serious pathogens. Give your body what it needs. Allison Med. Order Dr. Bill Deagle's Nutridyne at 888-212-8871 or Nutramedical.com. That's 1-888-212-8871 or Nutramedical.com. And listen to the Nutramedical Report on the Genesis Radio Network with open lines every weekday. Nutramedical.com, bringing nutrition and medicine together. So, um... Nutramedical. I understand the Middle East organically in my genetics. I got Syrian, I got Median, I got Mongolian, I got Jewish blood, I got Kohanim. I, the blood in my body is basically every people in the Middle East. And I know what the hell is going on there. 
And I know if Syria is abandoned to the arms of the Russians and the Iranians, Israel's screwed. And by the way, if Israel releases their sanction option, everybody within 20,000 miles anywhere on the planet is going to get nuked. And by the way, if we start a conflict with Israel and Israel's are co-defended, Russia's going to nuke us. You'll see 300 million Americans disappear in a vapor cloud in a couple hours. You think it won't happen? The Russians are nuts. Most of them are non-drinkers, or drinkers, not like Putin, who's a maniac. And Putin basically wants to re-exert the Soviet Union. The only way he can do it is decapitate the American military force. He's scared crapless, and the same with the damn Democrats, that Trump rebuilt the military. We didn't even have ammunition. Do you know that? At the end of the Obama administration, he destroyed the country so much and rolled the dead up more than all previous presidents. We didn't even have ammo, and our jets, we could even fly 10 to 15% of our jets because we didn't have parts even let alone training time for our pilots. Did you know that? This is why the Israelis, whenever they have U.S. weapons, they make all their own spare parts. They don't rely right. on the U.S. to supply them. Uh, and they, and by, by the way, you don't just, they, just they customize they, our, our fighters and so on. So yeah, I actually different. have friends in the Israeli Air Force. You know what they told me? They get an American jet saying, thank you, thank you, and they don't want all the other crap because... They put Israeli parts and Israeli technology inside their jets and love them. For example, you know the wire-based missile systems? That was invented in Israel. They put all their own stuff and they put Hebrew symbols on it. That's cool. They're no slouches. You want to mess with Israel, you're going to freaking die. That's one thing that I'm proud about them. I, yeah, it, that's but, why but, when but I, Israel, I have... But death. Israel does face a major challenge. Now, by the way, if they unleashed even a simple ground-based... Samson option, no space-based weaponry or anything else. Right. Uh, they would not only hit the cities, they would, for example, hit the Aswan Dam on the Nile. And right. they would send a wall of water more than 100 feet high down the Nile to obliterate Cairo and every other city. They would hit Mecca. <coughs> they would take out Mecca so badly that you couldn't find the sacred stone that everyone kisses when right. they walk around the Kaaba. Uh, and they have for, what, more than 30 years, had the capability, if they wished, because they had U.S. Phantom 3 jets. <coughs> On a one-way mission, a Phantom 3 jet has a ferry range of more than 1,700 miles, which means they could hit Moscow. And they know how to do it. They know how to fly through Russian air defenses. So uh, they would do all kinds of interesting things if they chose. And this is why it's always seemed strange to me. There are still Muslim fanatics who say, oh, well, we're going to push Israel into the sea. Boys and girls, the last group of the Israelis you take to the edge of the sea are going to say, to hell with it, we'd rather die our way. And they will kill everything for 1,500 miles or more around Israel. It won't just be that. I have my sources that they have nuclear weapons and space-based weapons Every Muslim community, including Indonesia, that's 10,000 miles away, will be vaporized within minutes. Now, you got to understand that. There's a little reason to hit Indonesia. Indonesia is a kind of Protestant version. <laughs> yeah, no, but what I'm saying is they have, if they want to wipe out any Muslim country, they can. So well, here, here's where I think things are going. Trump's move red flagged and gave, gave a, 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 you know, a, a, a green flag to Turkey. You know, he knew they were on their way. They were actually, he had advanced intel that they are moving. But to say I'm going to move 28 guys and I'm not putting in troops or air defenses or anything, and in fact, within days after we left our, one of our air forces, the Russians moved in and took our air base. Do you know that? I'm not surprised. I mean, Russia has uh, been feeling very hungry since they lost any real toehold in that area. <clears throat> Russia, by the way, was taking some of the nuclear materials they were given by Hillary Clinton in exchange for $145 million and transferring them uh, for the reactors they were building in Iran. Right. So if Iranian nuclear weapons in the hands of terrorists blow up New York City or other major U.S. targets, don't be surprised if that those radioactive holes in the ground cosmically have made in USA sold by Hillary Clinton 
She's the most, most evil, so. lying piece of human garbage. Now, you got to understand what she is. Now, my ministry is called Clay and Iron Ministries. And before God, years before he actually explained what clay and iron meant, clay is human flesh, iron is trans-dimensional entities. Our leaders in our world are avatar by trans-dimensional beings, no different than the Bible talking about possession. And the primary ones of all these beings are, if you want to call it, um, trans-dimensional beings from exoplanetary areas, especially the Draco reptilians from the star system Orion. That's what's in Hillary Clinton. You got to understand we're dealing with a galactic cosmic war. And if you're dealing with a war, let's say, exists 10,000, 100,000 years, because the population on Mars was destroyed by an ancient galactic war. Did you know that? When they got there, they found monuments on Mars going up to half a million years or more. Human beings have been on Mars a long time. When the first statement of the U.S. Director of Space Command said to me, we control every cubic centimeter of space between Mars, I've learned everything. You wouldn't believe what I know. And this is not open to day people's damned opinion. I hear stupid shows on coast to coast and elsewhere. We hear on the moon five years before the, the, the eagle landed and we're doing helium-3 mining with an entire city on the moon. Did you know that? For six decades. Which means, of course, since as you said, you are, you are Kohanim. You are, the, you are the Jewish priestly class. Yeah, but that I'm not just a regular Kohanim. I mean, but Kohanim from Moses, and 2,000 years ago a letter was given. Well, well Moses, to my ancestor. Le- Moses himself was a Levite. But the Levites, Levite, remember, are Ephraimites. He was not a Kohanim. The, uh, the, uh, the important thing here, of course, is you can not only invoke God by uttering the sacred name, you can also exorcise the books. Right. So maybe Hillary is really a debook. Well, she is. She's. That's why when you look at people like Podesta and other people, people say, "Well, you don't know, Diggle." I said, "I can even tell you their incubi and succubi names." Sexual warrior demons, fifteen thirty-five book of demonology by James Weir. People, oh no, you can't do that. I said, "God gave me second sight because I died multiple times and went to heaven." Well, what are you, Diggle? I said, "I'm a very good doctor. I'm a scientist. I'm a rational person." I'm not a nut, but I know things that most other human beings will never in multiple lifetimes ever know. And God has put me through living hell to know these things and brought me back, and I'm fearless. I'm not afraid to die. I'm going to die actually doing the right thing. God has guaranteed me that I'm going to die doing the right thing here on earth before he brings me home and resurrects me in heaven. People need to understand that. They think, well, do you think you know more than all my doctors? Yes, I do. Do you think you know more than all my politicians? Yes, I do. Do you think I know more than all geopolitical leaders or people in astrophysics or oceanography or environmentalism or whatever? Yes, I do. That's not possible, Diggle. I said, because God inspires me. You can ask me any question on earth, and I will give you an answer or break down the problem to its constituent parts, even areas I have no training in whatsoever. And, and by the way, for your potential callers, and you urge people to call you, here I brought up all kinds of comparatively irrelevant things and right. you didn't destroy me on the air and I'm just no, no, the thing is first. you can bring you can bring about a thing. no because I I don't disagree with you see the, the disagreement <laughs> came the disagreement came over one thing our only ally is Israel our only ally is Israel in the Middle East and that's not true Syria if you are actually in Syria and you're sitting at the table with the Alawites which are basically like a Catholic version of Islam and uh, you are there in Israel? Did you know? There you go. If you actually go to Israel and you sit at the table, you're going to actually see that the Jews and the Christians are sitting with the Alawites there at the same table doing business in, in, in Israel. The only country in, in the Middle East that allows Jews and Christians to be protected is Bashar al Assad's Syrian government. And they want to paint them as being a monster because their whole idea of the PNAC plan built by these maniacs and the so-called Republican maniacs, I call Republicraps, is that we've got to get rid of Bashar al-Assad or that he poisoned the people like the White Hats in Britain. These people are freaking lying pieces of human garbage. He didn't poison anybody. He's fighting for his nation. He was a British eye doctor and his older brother was a drug addict and an alcoholic, so his father, when he died, had to hand over the, the, the state to him. He's got a British wife. He's a decent person. He's an eye doctor. Did you know that? I knew that. 
Yeah. So when I hear people want to criticize, he's a monster, he's this, I say, you're a freaking idiot. And if I was a Jew, I'd rather be in Syria than any other country in the Middle East. I certainly wouldn't want to be in Saudi Arabia or Yemen or the Arab Emirates. God help you. And by the way, there's no Christian churches in Saudi Arabia, is there? And if you're an alternative sexual orientation, let's say you're gay or lesbian, which I don't persecute, by the way. In Saudi Arabia, you know what they do? They behead you and got you before Friday morning prayers. You can't be a Jew or a Christian in, in Saudi Arabia, and you can't have a synagogue or a church. It's not allowed. Now, even their current prince there thinks we need to get away from Wahhabism, which, by the way, wasn't invented by the Saudis. And you got to understand the Saudis are crypto Jews. Did you know that? They went from Basra in 1830 uh, to Saudi Arabia. Did you know that they were supported by the British because they're high level Masons just like the British that actually invented Wahhabism? Did you know that? I did not. By crypto Jews, what I mean is they were wizards no different than Saruman the Magnificent of the Trilogy. And the people who worship the Cepheid Zyra in the Temple of Babylon Summon demons. I actually talked to a guy from the yeshiva in New York just 27, 8 years ago and I wanted to recruit him to actually teach me Hebrew. He said, Deagle, because you're calling him, I'm going to tell you the truth. We're wizards. I said, you got to be kidding. He said, no, we summon demons. I said, what? Yeah, yeah. I said, we actually uh, control the nature of reality from the hypersphere that controls the matrix that called the earth in, in this realm. I said, you're kidding. He said, no, we're wizards. That's what we learn when we go into eight years of training after in the yeshiva. I said, no. He said, so if you idiots, Christians, think we're Judeo-Christianity, it's a, it's a lie. I know what happened 1,300 years of Judaism in, in Babylon. They became Druids. I met the Pindar 27 and a half years ago when he came to my home in Enfield, Nova Scotia. You know what the Pindar is? The penis of the dragon. He's run to 13th chair, the chairmanship of the Druidic Council of 13 runs earth for Satan. He wanted me to be his understudy and take over his position when he ascended. And we have one problem with you, Deagle. You wrote clay and iron and abortion arm again. They were on my laptop in my bedroom and not even my Baptist pastor knew about them. So I said, you're evil. He said, I'm gonna touch your baby girl's heart and I'm gonna kill you, Deagle. And I laughed, I said, that's three boys. I have Matthew, Stephen, Christmas, and they did repeated it. So I said, I'm covered by the blood of Yeshua and covered by the mantle of the Most High God and I'm a Kohanim and I rebuke you in the name of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And five feet in the low, broad daylight in front of me, this man, this $5,000 tuxedo, vaporized right in front of me. I didn't know what the hell a Pindar was. I had to go research it. People need to understand what I've been through. They might think, well, I just want to dismiss Diggle. He's a nut. He's a nut. Listen, it's the end of the age. If you don't think we're heading towards a economic chaos and a thermonuclear war, you're a moron. I don't see any end to this that's going to be nice, do you? Nope. I know God's going to save a remnant, but it's going to have to be supernatural. I don't know how to do it. I want people to prep, take care of their health, drink clean filtered water, do all the nutraceuticals, take things to stop radiation. But unless God intervenes, as it says in the very book of Mark, no flesh would survive unless God cuts off those days no flesh would survive. You don't want to agree with the Bible? It's right there in your Bible. It's not Deagle. It's the Bible. Look at Damascus. This idiot, Trump, that, that abandoned the Kurds, he guarantees now that Damascus will burn with nuclear fire. I'm getting pretty disgusted with the man. Unless I can talk to that man face to face and give him what for, he might think he's the president. I'm the POTUS. He's full of it. He's a narcissistic egomaniac. And the de Democrats are even worse. They just want to make social communism and totalitarian control of all of us. Trump is at least a, a, a patriot trying to do stuff, even though he's screwing up. Are you still looking for that one iodine that you can really trust? A medical doctor endorsed product that is backed by honest research and true integrity of science. Then search no further. Go to Nutramedical.com for Dr. Bill Deagle's Nutriodine, proven time and time again to be the very best iodine available for you. Nutriodine is the only Tesla activated monatomic plasma iodine in the world. It optimizes mitochondrial function and generation of new mitochondria from totally neutral the venom from a desert recluse spider bite in Southern California to eliminating malaria parasites reported by medical missionaries in Central India. Dr. Bill's Nutriodine is simply
only the most powerful healing formula there is. Nutriodine clears the body of all known pathogens, restores it to an alkaline state, and even promotes stem cell regeneration. Order Dr. Bill's Nutriodine today at 888-212-8871 or visit us online at Nutramedical.com. Red Deer Velvet DR is an amazing new product with a patent to preserve 300 biomolecules and six hormones, same as fetal life, where you don't age at all. The state of fetal life allows the 300 biomolecules and six hormones produced by the placenta to be supportive of the re uh, generation of tissues and organs with maximum apoptosis uh, changing the tissue and organ structure of a fetus. That's why if fetal surgery is performed there is no scar. Taking uh, two to three capsules twice a day with oncomycin, myco D2 uh, provides an amazing support for regeneration of any tissue and organ in the body and even advanced stem cell therapy support treatment. Do uh, get Nutramedical's Red Deer Velvet DR from Dr. Bill Deagle at Nutramedical.com, NUTRIMedical.com, 888-212-8871. Stay well and stay young with Nutramedical. Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Deagle, MD, AAEM, ACAM, A4M of Nutramedical.com and a consultant providing email advice free on advanced protocols for your optimized wellness and advanced technologies to heal and regenerate you. You can contact us at Nutramedical.com, that's N-U-T-R-I-Medical.com, or 888-212-8871. You get free email starter protocols of our top medical-grade nutraceuticals, initial testing, and recommendations for your own primary doctor to do, as well as recommendations to give you an idea of a consultation and a full protocol to try to help you regenerate your tissues, heal naturally without the use of toxic polypharmacy. I can send test kits to you as well anywhere in the world and provide you recommendations to referral of specialty clinics worldwide. So contact me, Dr. Bill Deagle, at Nutramedical.com. That's N-U-T-R-I-Medical.com or 888-212-8871. At Nutramedical.com, we have the most amazing drinks with the best both feel, highest quality bionutrient uh, exposure to your body to heal and regenerate, and the uh, most powerful persistence of nutrients to heal your body dramatically. We have Ageless, which makes you age less, which repairs your DNA, extends your telomeres, etc., we have life support that detoxes phase two detox pathways, glucuronidation, sulfation, and methylation pathway support. We have glycemics that blocks the carbohydrate absorption and helps with diabetes or weight loss, and as well helps with people that are trying to build up muscle using things like our um, special formulas from Dr. Wolf called Mega Muscles between meals along with Sports Energy Light. We have the amazing Nutri Complete, the most complete red and re- greens drink in the world with the best mouthfeel and flavor. You can often mix it, too, with Vitamin Mineral Mix, which is our fruit-flavored mix power of vitamin minerals. Stay well with Nutramedical every day. And, oh, by the way, to get your book, how do they get your amazing book with uh, uh, your cohort uh, that actually writes it? Yeah, uh, Craig, Craig Smith and I have done seven books. You see him every week on with uh, Neil Cavuto on Fox Business. Right. Our latest book, Money, Morality, and the Machine, uh, you, well, you'd have to pay $20 to get it from Jeff Bezos and Amazon, but as a Dr. Bill listener, you can get it absolutely free and post-paid. It will not cost you a penny, and therefore it has a money-back guarantee. We'll give you back every non-penny that you pay right. for. <laughs> and how do you get it? You just dial uh, 800-630-1492, like the year Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Oh, that's right. Columbus is now politically incorrect. And we're going to rename Columbus Day uh, Indigenous Peoples Day. Anyway, the, t- the number again, 800 630 1492. Right. And you can get the book at no cost, whatever. Christmas is coming up. It's a terrific gift for yourself and your family. And, uh, and we go into a lot of these same issues or kinds of issues that you're discussing. In my current column, the one that uh, now keeps yeah, coming out. By Friday. the way, your column was really long today. It had a lot of pictures in it, too. I noticed one you sent me. Well, I don't put the pictures in. Well, somebody, somebody put the pictures in because, uh, very... yeah, it was uh, it was everything. It was all kinds of stuff here. The first one was, it says, uh, uh, United States Senator for Kansas, uh, Kansas, da 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 uh, Jerry Moran, da da Okay, let's see. Let me look here now. Okay, uh, let, let's go through your article. Well, my column is called The Left's Plan to Abolish Prisons. 
Yeah. This is interesting. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who just endorsed Bernie Sanders as her presidential candidate, saved him in that strange debate that occurred. Uh, she, uh, she wants to do away with locking people up because, after all, in true to the progressive vision, everyone is good, everyone is noble, everyone can be rehabilitated, and so why not just let them all out? We have about 2.3 million people in the United States in prison or under the prison system, uh, which is uh, just over two-thirds of 1% of our population. Uh, and she says all of that is needless because basically what we do with prisons is treat them as mental hospitals. And uh, how You know, you know the thing is, that woman needs to have duct tape over her mouth. She needs to be in a psych ward. She should never have daytime, an Internet connection, or a book tour. She is dangerous to open her freaking mouth. Okay, the well, fact, I'm, and I'm supporting, by the way, candidates to fight against her to win the election. These people, including the squad, they support Bernie Sanders, Claus, the communists, three of them. She is out of her freaking mind. There's not no words that come out of her mouth to make sense, are decent, humane, or reasonable, or against the American Constitution. Well, and by the, the way, idea of the, you just pointed out in Islamic countries like Saudi Arabia, they kill gay people. They don't right. do it in Israel. We don't do it here. But uh, in other words, when you see people like Miss Congresswoman Omar as her part of her quad, or when you see that smug, self-righteous Rashida Tlaib, another right. congresswoman, in this case from Michigan, they are literally taking the side of people who kill gays. Now, for those of you who think of yourselves as liberal or broad-minded or on the left, do you really want to embrace people who endorse the killing of gays? Because that's what AOC and her little group advocate. When they say they're going to support Islam over Israel, over the United States, they're saying it's okay to kill gays. I'll give you an example, okay? I have a daughter with Down syndrome. It's my feeling that when you look at someone with a different sexual proclivification, there's three things going on. Number one, genetics, epigenetics, and toxicology. We have feminizing agents in our environment. They can even change the neural pathways. We don't persecute or kill people because of their gen different genetics. Although with Down syndrome, they try to kill them before birth because they can, don't have to do an ultrasound. They can do a genetic test. What do you have to understand? These countries selectively kill people that they don't like. Now. Gay, lesbian, and trans people to me are our human brothers and sisters. And they're, in some ways, they've taken themselves to the reproductive cycle because unless they do a punch biopsy of their forearm and make an ovum sperm and put them into a, a surrogate mother or an artificial uterus, they're not going to reproduce. So we have to understand they are part of the nature of living in a toxic world, a world where we have different genetics. For example, people are not aware. Do you know I mean, most people have heart disease? If I do the genetic screen, I find that most people that develop plaque have got a, a 5-methylfolate reductase polymorphism so they can't fight against homocysteine or detoxify heavy metals in their artery walls. Did you know that? Do you think the average doctor knows that? No, they're idiots. Now, because someone is slightly different genetically or toxicologically during their mother's pregnancy, do you think I want to kill them? No. There are, in many, many cases, to be honest with you, and this is a fact, unfortunately, many of the stable homosexual relationships are actually more stable than a lot of these so-called straight ones that are sexually uh, ridiculous or are abusive to their children. The stable homosexuals usually tend to be more stable with their children than are adopted than normal. Just look at, uh, what's his name, the big uh, movie st uh, music star, uh, Elton John. He's been with the same guy from Canada for decades. They have two adopted kids. Do you think that we need to kill Elton John? What the hell? And when these Muslims open their freaking yap, they're saying, yeah, we want to bring Islam to America, just like the crazy Muslims want to change the dietary yeah, recipes. What's his name? David Furnish, I think. Yeah. We, we want to change the diet in Quebec because they got enough Muslims that emigrated because Canada is an open society. They brought a bunch of Muslims. So so many moved to one area of Montreal and Quebec. They want to change the dietary plan for the entire population of kids. No more pork. You're not going to have that. We're going to change the dietary thing. See, they're a creeping cancer. It's my feeling that Muslims should be monitored if they're in mosque, where the mosque is teaching violence. They should close the mosque down and deport the imam. If 
uh, we need to have a reformed form of Islam in America that doesn't teach that we are kafirs or outside of Islam that need to be subjugated, or that Sharia law can trump our constitution or our state laws. 52% of American Muslims, 10.6 million, support Sharia law over our laws, and 20% would do violence against fellow Americans if ordered by Islamic leaders. Did you know that? Yeah, That's but you, but you notice that Miss Omar's husband is now divorcing her because of her adultery with someone who was working on her campaign. Now, this yeah. is interesting because under Sharia law, she should be stoned to death. And yet she is not invoking Sharia law and saying, I, as a devout Muslim, demand to be stoned to death. Isn't that strange? It's the same way when you see her talking about we can't have hamburger anymore. She's stuffing one down her face. Or we can't fly and go and take private cars when she's got a great big limo driving around or private jets. These people need to be bitch slapped and shut up. Well, as they say, if it weren't for double standards, the left would have no standards at all. Two quick points from my article. Yeah. Uh, number one, even Trump supported the First Step Act which not that long ago released 2,243 people telling everyone that they were only going to be releasing nonviolent people who were just drug users or otherwise engaged in victimless crimes. But when Democrats were offered the chance to vote for an amendment that would have required only nonviolent people to be released, they shot it down. They wouldn't right. allow it. Now we know why. Because of the first batch released... 496 were imprisoned for weapons or explosives-related crime, 239 for sex offenses, 106 for robbery, and 59 had been found guilty of homicide or aggravated assault. One of those people, one of those people all who was released in that first batch that Trump was so proud of, right. unfortunately has already had a warrant issued uh, on grounds that he no. stabbed a man to death since getting now, out. How, what kind of precautions were done when this law went in to make sure only, for example, I would release people that were, let's say, picked up on the third time they'd been saying carrying more than so many grams of hair, uh, marijuana. Or they did some kind of paper crime. They did something that's... Yeah, well, that's uh, a victimless crime, essentially. Right. Right. And, and this but is, but uh, anything involved with there's the a victim is, of a they're, rape they're or... They're not really screening <clears throat> them at all is the difficulty. The other thing is, on October 15th, uh, what Tuesday there was a presidential debate that for the first time featured the notorious egomaniac Tom Steyer. He is a multi-billionaire. He right. bought his place on stage, as even all the New York Times analysts pointed out. Yeah. Uh, the question is, however, how did Tom Steyer make his billions of dollars? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Well, it turns out he made them by selling coal mines, by a large by uh, selling coal. And by a large investment in corruptions in Corrections Corp of America, a private right. company that operates for-profit prisons. Right. Now, where was Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez condemning this person who made a profit from having prisons right. that he operated and who was attacking her Green New Deal by selling everyone the access to coal? I mean, this is what happens when the Democratic Party has offered enough money yeah, they're no, willing that, to prostitute <clears throat> anything they claim to believe that, in. That's why they're proceeding with this, not having an open vote in the House. And the and we're seeing even Fox polls and polls on Drudge that, we, yeah, we want to impeach Trump. The average American that wants to impeach Trump, I want him to stand in front of me and I want a bitch slap him to, to wake up, you know? Do you understand? Trump's screwing up on a few things. 5G network, genetically modified food, etc., and maybe a little policy tweak on Syria, which could easily be fixed. And that's why I co-opted... But, but everything else, uh, Trump is right on the, on the money. Fixing the economy, if he gets in and he gets the house, he'll fix the tax base. He's already increased the income for the average middle-class American $5,000 since he got in three years ago. If Trump well, is removed, these Democrats will make America turn into Venezuela. Our economy will crash, we'll have no military... We'll have no presence worldwide. We'll not build re infrastructure. Our factories will be exported to China. We won't even have the money to afford to buy the stuff from China, let alone that. And then we wonder why our, everything will fly apart. And, of course, they want to release people from prison, and they want to take away our guns. So when prisoners or criminals, which, by the way, 6% of the population genetically and epigenetically are criminals. I can actually, the first time I went to a seminar was this, is back around, oh, 
Jesus, back in the 90s. Alec, uh, it was actually up in the Biosocial Research Institute in Tacoma. And he was a PhD biochemist, and he explained that the manganese level in the brain chemistry of people that are criminals is abnormal. I can do tests on someone who's a criminal in prison and tell you exactly why they have what's called, remember the movie Young Frankenstein? Mm -hmm. You put a Abby normal brain and a seven foot nine monster? Guess what? People that are criminals they have normal brains. They lack frontal lobe connections to control their behavior. They have overactivity of the amygdala and the rage control nuclei. Yeah, and, and, and they get abnormal heavy metals and neurotransmitters. James Q. Wilson <clears throat> is saying right. exactly that. Three to six percent are inherently criminal. They think they are the wolves and we are the sheep. Right. They're entitled to eat us or shear us. Uh, that if they go before a parole and it's board, incurable. it's just an opportunity to lie and cheat your way back to freedom. Uh, by the way, they, we need to start they, screening they these people. They are beyond redemption. They cannot be fixed in the usual Well, no, I can, I can fix them, okay? They, you remember, you're dealing with Diggle. But in terms I can fix them, of but you think my average doctor them can fix by them? rehabilitation techniques, they can't be fixed. Listen, I'm capable of doing anything. I have 400 health conditions on my wellness conditions. The other doctors are boggled. Regenerating joints, reversing traumatic brain injury, reversing vision problems. I even have a patent on the first product, U.S. patent in the world, that stops aging by providing three hundred biomolecules. I'm the pioneer of epigenetic frequency theory for DNA induction. First, this is way ahead of Dr. Cavinson at the Russian Bio Institute with peptides. I'm even extracting the peptide resonant frequencies to send a resonant field to you to regenerate your kidneys, your brain, or whatever. There's nobody not even close to Dr. Deagle, not even within a light year. And the problem is, you see, that I need to get the science. I'm going to put together a protocol and a PowerPoint to actually say, what do you do with these people when they're teenagers and they've got ADD or Asperger's syndrome? When they're violent uh, teenagers like these kids are killing in school? I would grab those kids, put them through all these neurological tests, MRI, CT scan, spec blood flow scan, or neurotransmitters, organic acids, genetic tests, and so on. I would tweak their biochemistry, I'd even if it's necessary, insert genes to alter their brain chemistry. We can do this. Oh, yeah. Well, like I, I teach anybody. I'm, I have apprentices all over the world. It's just a few hours away. So this is a challenge. We're letting prisoner criminal, violent criminals out without this kind of treatment. And no wonder we're. Of course we're they do. And they want they want chaos. They're the chaos masters. They want us to they want us to be to, to be unable to defend ourselves against maniacs that are biochemically predators. Which is most.